Endoease, A-E-T and A-D-O, was developed by Ultradent Products in the United States based upon concepts of Dr. Francisco Ritano of Italy. With this concept, there are instruments and techniques used for each particular part of the canal meant to keep the cross-sectional anatomy of the canal intact. In this case, we're using an upper central, and we're showing both views of the radiograph, a buccolingual and a mesial distal. Access to the pulp chamber may be achieved with whatever burr or diamond of choice. However, Ultranet provides the Rotano Access Burr Kit, which has a carbide burr and four safe tip diamonds, which are used for enlarging the access. Once initial access is achieved, here we see the button diamond, which has a safe tip. These are safe tip diamonds, so there is no danger of perforating the furca. Ultradent provides four patient kits. Each one corresponds to a different range of lengths so that you can clean and shape whatever length root canal without having to use stops. In this case, we're using the green or extra long kit because this tooth is 30 millimeters long. The files can be inserted into the Endoese handpiece to different lengths, making it so that it's not necessary to use a stop. This handpiece has a 30 degree reciprocation, and the action which is used is an in and out, back and forth milling or painting motion, getting all the walls of the canal, following the contours of the canal. This is repeated with shaping file number one, number two, and number three, yellow, blue, and green. Navi tip, which are 30 gauge tips, also have four different lengths which correspond to the lengths of the patient kits. The push button chuck with the endoese handpiece, adjusting the length within the handpiece to whatever length is desired so that a stop is not required. In this case, this tooth is 30 millimeters long. We're going to be working in the middle portion of the canal with the shaping files, which is the area three millimeters short of the apex to the canal orifice. We use file ease, which is ultradense 19% EDTA, which is a viscous lubrication agent as well. You can see in this action that the file is bowed against the walls of the canal. The pressure is put on the outstroke. By putting pressure on the outstroke, you reduce any chance of ledging. These have very small non-cutting tips and the files are meant to cut on the side, so it's almost impossible to ledge with them. All the contours of the canal are followed, keeping the original anatomical shape intact and only enlarging upon it. You'll notice that the handpiece also has internal water spray. This is not for lubricating the canal or irrigating the canal. This is for keeping the file clean. This is an optional feature. After each file, the canal is lubricated copiously with sodium hypochlorite. Ultranet has chlorosid, a less than 3% solution of sodium hypochlorite. You'll note that when chlorosid comes in contact with filees, our EDTA lubricant, it effervesces. This brings dent and mud to the surface and oxygenates the canal, helping to kill anaerobes. This technique is now repeated with the shaping file number two, that technique again being lubrication with filees file, irrigation with sodium hypochlorite. And it's also repeated with the third shaping file. You use each file for about a minute or until the file is very loose in the canal.
The apical 3 millimeters is clean and shaped using the apical files. The apical files only have fluting on the apical 12 millimeters. So when den is engaged, it is being engaged apically. These files are used in a conventional twist pull or watch winding motion. Sizes 25 on up have a slightly greater than ISO taper, so that when used with an ISO gutta percha point for a single cone technique and tug back is achieved, it's achieved at the tip. Again, as with the shaping files, we use filees, we file with the file, and then we irrigate with sodium hypochlorite. Alternate mix is a product called the Lure Vacuum Adapter. When used at the capillary tip on the high volume evacuation, they are very effective in drying the canal. So effective, in fact, that only one or two paper points would be required to confirm that the canal is dry. ADO is achieved using navy tips, skinny syringes, and endo res. Endo res is a urethane dimethacrylate resin based material. It's hydrophilic, it's biocompatible, and it's very radio opaque. We use this with a single gutta percha point. The master gutta percha point matching the last file used is fit. These are premium stiff gutta percha. They will not noodle on the way down the canal. We take the tip off the endo res. We express a little to make sure both sides are running. Put the mixing tip on and then we inject into the back of the skinny syringe. A very small amount is needed. You need to make sure that you put endo res all the way to the flange so there's no air between the plunger and the endo res. Attach the navy tip tightly. Confirm that endo res is flowing. Put the navy tip two to three millimeters coronal of the apex and begin to inject as you withdraw. If you hit a bind, back up from that bind before you begin injecting. Inject until you fill to the canal orifice. Insert your gutta percha point. Burn it off with a very hot plugger or touch and heat. And then you can temporize or restore at this time. If you're in a very large canal, you may insert additional gutta percha if you wish. You can see on the final radiographs just how radio opaque and res is. It is very hydrophilic. It will fill anastomoses, accessory canals, and dentin tubules.